Okay, so thank you guys for coming out today. Um, I want to discuss the film Panic Room. Um, and the message of this film is that women should fight with their lives uh, for the right to be domestic. And so, um, have you guys ever watched this film, any of you? Yes. Yes? Okay. Um, well, I specifically want to discuss gender. And I want to discuss how um, in this film, the cat and mouse game, kind of reconstruct the conformities of gender in this film. So just a little bit about the plot. Um, there's a woman and her daughter, and they've just moved into New York, into this um, new house. And in this house, there's a panic room. Um, and in the panic room, it's, there are bearer bonds worth $3 million. And so uh, the women don't know about this, but the burglars that eventually break into her, her house do. And so, uh, um, <clears throat> sorry, once they break into her house, the woman finds out, her and her daughter, they shut themselves into the panic room. And um, it's just a whole cat and mouse game from there. So taking what I said about the plot, can you guys just kind of give me some of your ideas on like men and women in our society today? Or just like, what does society think of a man or a woman? And, uh, well, men are held at a higher status than women. Okay. okay. It's strength. Strength? Um, <laughs> dominant. Dominant? Okay. okay. I would say in today's society that men are taking quite a hit from the uh, social justice warriors. Um, and while women are just as worthy as men, we need men too. So that's what I think. I like that. Um, okay. So I first want to discuss like the male burglars. Um, so taking what we've said about men um, being uh, dominant and having strength, uh, these men in this film, they are very, like, a arrogant, I guess. They bicker. They argue. Um, oh, Sorry. And so this is kind of, like, their reason for losing um, to the women. So if you guys would just look at this video, I'll just kind of uh, show you. Okay, so this bickering and one person trying to call the shots, it's kind of seen throughout the whole film. And this is their downfall eventually to not getting the bonds that they're after. Um, so Meg and her daughter, they're kind of put in submissive positions because they can't stand the panic room all day. Uh, the burglars, they, um, on the cameras, they put her husband's head up to the camera because they end up beating him up. and. Um, while that's happening, her daughter's sick because she needs her insulin. Um, so I do have another uh, clip for you that I would like you to see. <clears throat> Open the door! 
all the cameras so that's great um that shows her wits because I, I honestly don't think people could just think to smash the cameras i mean when the burglars were outside of the room and they were in the room they didn't even think to smash the cameras so that just kind of shows how she's thinking um this definitely defies a lot of like social concepts on women you know being tender and afraid and you got this small white woman who's uh, outsmarting these three men with her daughter, kind of something that could hold her back. Um, <clears throat> and so, if it, at the end of the movie, she's actually not the one who's the reason for them not being uh, hurt or, you know, anything by the burglars. It's actually one of the burglars. And so, when I made the comment about uh, the men bickering amongst each other, being a downfall, well, the downfall was, I feel like, they kind of turned against each other, and so that caused one of them to actually be the hero for Meg and her daughter. Um, so, however, they're all safe, and the, <laughs> the cat and mouse game is over. Um, yeah. So do you guys have any questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> Alright, that's great. <laughs> 